All right, Matt S., good luck. Got a little personal break of 2020 Top Series 1 Baseball. Looking for a golden ticket. If Imagine if we pulled a golden ticket at midnight. That would be nuts, right? Yeah, it kind of reminds me of Atlanta, which is also a great show. FXX has some, some heat. Obviously, they had Sons of Anarchy. Then they got Atlanta. They got Always Sunny in Philadelphia. I know a lot of people like Fargo. I think that's on FX. I don't think I've ever watched it. Uh, Dave. They got some bangers, man. That's some heavy hitters. They have that Zach Galifianakis show. I've never watched it. All right, I'm going to save this for last, I think, right? No, I do like rap. I don't I don't know if I like Lil Dicky's rap. Some songs I like by him, but... So if you want more personals, jaspies.com. Uh, we'll, uh, Teddy will be live tomorrow doing some. Yeah, Homeland was a good show. I watched the first few seasons and then I stopped. But I heard the last season was pretty good. That show just felt like it kind of went on forever. Kind of dragged on. Another show I've been getting into is 24. That's a pretty good show. Although that kind of drags on too. 24. The problem with 24 is it's literally 24 episodes in a whole season. So it's just kind of a grind, man. It's like, you know, you get to that episode 14. That's like the dog days of baseball. That's a grind. Not many willing to do it, but I have watched a few seasons of that. I just got to the, where the Allstate guy is the president, so... But yeah, it's crazy. Another show I gotta get into is Ozark. I heard that's pretty good. I watched the first few episodes before, but I kind of lost interest, so I, I gotta get back on that. But yeah, Atlanta needs to come back. I, what's it been? Almost two and a half years, right? Curb's a great show. I've seen every episode multiple times. This season I thought was pretty funny too. That John Hamm episode was funny. All right, good luck, Matt. Let's see what we got for you. And if you see anything that you want me to top load, you can uh, let me know too. Except unless you say every card. <laughs> then we might be bankrupt. Every time I flip it around, it goes the other side. Gus and May is pretty good, right? Unless Dodgers fans here are kind of biased. Take it's best, Aaron Judge. Nico Horner, I'll top load that. He's a good rookie. There's an Alonzo uh, second year. Trout. Is Mindhunter the one where it was about the Unabomber? There's also another service, like another streaming service called Quibi. It's like five minute episodes. Chance the Rapper has a punk series. He like they're doing redoing punked kind of funny they're like every tv show is five minutes though um will forte and caitlin olsen have a show on there it's like five minutes long it's kind of a funny show you just churn through episodes five minutes long and it's the best interface of an app that i've ever been on you can flip you can have it vertical or horizontal and it like integrates with whatever one you want it's kind of a kind of a genius app I don't know about the other shows on there, but, and yeah, I like, kind of like Will Forte. Some of the stuff he does, I don't really like. There's a Blue Jays insert. 
Caitlin Olsen is funny though. I liked her her show The Mick on Fox. That was a pretty good show, but it got canceled. For a network show, it was pretty funny. There's a Yordan. That's nice. Ooh, that's a gold Yordan. That's nice. Even better. To 2020, Yordan Alvarez. Maybe the only Astro I kind of like because I don't think he was really involved with the whole cheating scandal. 617 out of 2020. That's nice. That is probably the first or second best rookie to get out of this stuff. The GOAT, the GOAT, Sammy Sosa. I only see one order in, so might be Dunzos after this. I thought we'd run back that, uh, do that cup or do that Leaf Festa, but looks like Joe would be doing those. Sadness, pain. All right, Shane Bieber, there's Javi Baez. Hello, Garcia. Yeah, that's a nice Yordan. Almost pays for the box. Uh, Wade Davis foil. Sleeve that up. The pink one? I, th I thought I saw a pink one too. I didn't. I don't think it was numbered though. I can go through them at the end. I'll go through them and see if I miss anything. I thought I saw the same thing, but it wasn't numbered, I don't think. It was like kind of like this, where it was the background, I think. But I'll go through them again. All right, I think we have your hit. It is, ooh. What a box, man. Donnie Baseball on card. 1985 tops. Man, good decision on buying this, Matt. Little Bo Bichette. Bo knows. Although I think his Instagram is Bo Flows, which is kind of a badass handle. The Luxie. Now you just need a Aquino. No automatic. Ooh. That's a crazy card. That'll be a popular one, I would imagine, in the LA area. Ooh. <laughs> Jeez. Maybe the best box of Series 1 hobby I've ever seen. I think this is the Players' Day weekend. Bo Bichette, variation rookie. Right? That's got to be a variation, right? Code 8 for him back. That's nasty. Oh, wow. People are going to be buying these up. I don't think I'm breaking more tonight, but Teddy will be live tomorrow. And let me tell you, if Teddy likes anything, he likes to set. He goes hard for baseball. He gets sad when people buy basketball. Mike Trout die cut. So check Teddy out for sure if you're not if you're wanting to buy a whole box of this. Oh, Kirsch. Um... I haven't seen the Clippers documentary. Is it like... Oh, I guess on, on Quibi I should check it out. I have the app. I think I got a free trial for like 90 days or something crazy. I'm going to forget to cancel it. Uh, there's an Aquino. What would the Clippers documentary be about? Just like finding the new team? Like starting the new, the new franchise, I guess? 
Or are you talking about? Oh, you're talking about the Donald Sterling. Oh, okay. I thought you meant 1984-85 Clippers. I was like, the Clippers were. <laughs> that shows my knowledge. Uh, there's to 299 Ernie Banks. Oh, Donald Sterling. Oh, that'd be interesting then, right? What Blake Griffin's in that? That Clippers team was pretty good. I can't believe they didn't make the Western Conference Finals or whatever. Yeah, no, now I get it. Yeah, he was talking about the back of the code, the code on the cards. That makes sense. Carson Kelly. I was like, what? I maybe the the team was founded then. I was like, that might be cool. I guess. Wow, Jordan rookie again. Pretty killer box, Matt. And a Mike Trout tops now answer. All right, let's see if you get a freaking autograph or a numbered card in this. That'd be crazy. All right, Nolan Ryan. Astros may might have the best logo right there in sports. Showtime. Robel Garcia. And Fernando Tatis Jr. So there you go, Matt. Appreciate it. Thanks for getting that box. Pretty killer box. Do a little recap here. You had some top rookies. You got a Lux rookie, Jordan rookie base, Ernie Banks to 299 Aquino base. There's a Bobachette variation. There's a Bobachette base, Donnie Baseball, and the Alvarez 617 out of 2020. So nice box for you, Matt. Thanks, everybody, for getting in. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.